Welcome to America Uncanceled. I mean, who would have ever thought that Walmart would decide to become the next institution owned by the left? I mean, this has been quite shocking. As we know, last week, uh, the CPAC, a lot of these conservative leaders uh, signed a coalition letter to denounce Walmart's unrestricted abortion benefits. Yeah, no, this is true. And what, what's frustrating, I think, for everyone is uh, the way in which this was announced, the fact that so many of us weren't consulted. And, uh, and I think there's a little bit of wanting to have your cake and eat it too from a lot of these companies. Uh, whether it's members of the, of the family uh, or other outside agitators on the left, they try to shoehorn these companies into accepting their latest woke demand. And in this case, they haven't just gone to Walmart. They've gone to all these Fortune 100 companies and gotten them to sign on the dotted line saying they'll pay for travel to and from abortions and they'll cover all abortions through nine months post the overturn of Roe v. Wade. And one of the co-signers of the letter is with us, Penny Nance. She is CEO and president of Concerned Women for America. She joins us now. Penny, thanks for being with us. Great to be with you all. Well, let's jump right into this. Uh, we, we were able to get the top conservatives from the most important conservative groups, all these leaders, to sign this letter. Why do you think the conservatives united to push back on Walmart and their policy change on supporting abortion on demand. Well, and I wanna get a, in, in a moment into what that policy change really boils down to. But I think what happened, Mercy, is we all started hearing from their employees. And um, there was an announcement made or leaked, and then they had an announcement to their employees that um, was a little bit, um, unclear, but it appeared that they were opening the door to pay for unlimited abortion. Um, they refute that it's unlimited, although they agree that they changed the abortion policy. We're yet to see really what the change is because they refuse to make a statement on it. But they, there was various and sundry reports out there in USA Today and many other media outlets, top media outlets, that announced that now Walmart was paying for abortion and none of it was refuted. And what everybody agrees about is now they're paying for travel for abortion because the words that were told to me from one of their executives is somehow it's unfair that if you live in Arkansas and there are limits on abortion, that there's one rule for you. And if you live in New York or California, it's another rule. Although I think some of those I don't think there even is a Walmart in, in New York because these left-leaning leaning blue states don't want them in the state. They've made their bread and butter on our kind of people, our members. Christian, conservative, pro-life shoppers have spent millions of dollars with this company that branded themselves a family company. And now with this switch, with the overtone of Roe, it has all come to light. Companies that at one point wanted our business, valued our business, has turned on the pro-life community and are using our money to, at the very least, pay for abortion travel. Money's fungible. That's a big word. It means it shifts around. If you free up money that you aren't going to have to pay for gas or an airline ticket, now you've got more money to pay for the actual abortion. That's real. And so any way you slice it, they are going to be using their consumer's money to pay for abortion. And so the fact, and I talked about this at CPAC, I was so honored to be in Texas with you. Why are we spending money with, with retailers that don't care about us, don't support us, and actually use our money in ways that we find nefarious? We need to work together to find other retailers who will respect us and will respect life. Uh, a penny. Uh, there are blue states, there are red states. Red states obviously have more traditional uh, laws and also um, have lower taxes, right. less regulation. Right. Do you think it's fair to challenge Walmart that they should pay the highest tax rate for any blue state they're in? Why are they in Arkansas <laughs> paying lower taxes? Why are they in these red states with their business? They're in those states because they pay lower taxes. Shouldn't they pay the highest tax rate under this abortion philosophy they have where it's unfair for an employee to live in a state that values life? Yes, if we want fairness, we want there to be one size fits all approach, then absolutely that logic would suggest that they should pay the same level of taxes 
in Arkansas that they pay in New York. I mean, I'm kind of sick, Matt, and I know you all are too, of cutting a deal and giving special treatment to corporations who, who disrespect and in some cases literally hate their customers. And, um, and I'm not saying that Walmart does, but Walmart has betrayed the very people that made them great. And if you spend just a few minutes on their website and Google and look up, search on ESG, you find that they have made this shift to the left that we all find very surprising. And so if they're going to behave as if they're target, we need to teach them to treat them as if they're target. So let me ask you, because I know obviously this letter was specific to Walmart, but there's a lot of these other companies as well that have adopted similar uh, a, you know, abortion on demand uh, support that these companies are giving to their employees. Uh, where, where does it go from here? Where does the, the, the battle go next? I mean, are we expecting, what are we gonna expect from Walmart? What are we gonna expect from these other companies as well? Well, I think it's up to the consumer to vote with our pocketbook, right? You know, we have a lot of power specifically as mothers and women. Women can control the budget for a family in most cases. We're the ones that are at the end of the month trying to make it all work out. We're getting ready if we haven't already sent our kids back to school that are buying the back to school supplies. And so it, it, we at Concerned Women for America are, are really... Um, dedicated to helping the consumer make good choices. We have on our website at concernedwomen.org a list of some companies, and this is not all of them, certainly, but ones that after the overturn of Roe took the extra effort to use our money to pay for abortion, and then we gave them other alternatives. Instead of choosing one thing, let's choose another. Um, it's not a complete list. We're going to continue to add to the list, and we'd love to have input from our, your viewers of other companies that they've worked with, you know, I think about, for instance, Mac Makeup. This is a very liberal woke company. There's a company called Makeup America that actually um, is conservative, gives money to great causes. I think about many of the clothing retailers that are so leftist. There's actually a company called Culture of Life 1972, that especially for college students, has, has really attractive, cute clothing that is very affordable. I own some of it. I'm actually not wearing it today, but often I am. Um, let's give our money to companies that respect us, respect life, and let's have an ethic of life in every area that we possibly can. And let me just say it's hard. And I'm not expecting purity. You know, it's not like anyone can do it perfectly. I was shocked to see my favorite yogurt, Chobani, has gone woke. Who knew it? Uh, you know, woke yogurt. Um, <laughs> but I, and I've got to find it. You know, I've got to find an alternative to that. And I will. But, you know, I, it's going to take a little time for me to look around and see what other companies actually want my business and care about my, my business and respect my views. But I think we're heading towards you know, a reality that's different and new. Penny, you bring up a great and point it, that you, we bring up this reality that's different and new. Do you think, Matt, that there is this alternative economy like Penny is, is bringing up? Well, you saw this at CPAC, Penny was there. We have these mm -hmm. entrepreneurs that are starting to bring up alternative banking, alternative credit cards, ways to do your uh, online purchases. I think that uh, in the letter that you signed and Penny signed, to the Walmart CEO, by the way, just so everyone knows, the Walmart CEO has not responded to us. And we not expect the decency of a letter responding to our letter and to the conservative leaders telling us what their policy is. Uh, Penny, they seem to be telling us, I think you've gotten some communications, I've gotten some communications, maybe others have. No, 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 we're not, this is not abortion on demand through nine months. This is just abortion uh, for what we used to always call the hard cases rape, mm -hmm. incest, life of the mother. Yet there have literally been dozens of news articles written about how Walmart, mm -hmm. Walmart has joined the other woke companies in agreeing post Roe v. Wade uh, to facilitate abortions uh, through nine months for their employees. They haven't refuted one of those stories. They haven't come out with a counter statement from the company. So uh, they're either lying to us or they're allowing the lie that's being written by these journalists to go on and on in order to get street cred from the left. What do you think is going on here? Um, and you are 100% right. There's alternatives, an alternative reality that we're going to be enter into, entering into. But what you're saying is also correct. 
that they want to have it both ways, right? They want the all the leftists to think that they are paying for abortion up to birth, but they want to refute what we're saying. So if you're going to, what you said, allow the lie to, to, to percolate out there and allow the leftists to think they're completely woke, they want to pay for all abortions, then, then, you know, you can just remain silent. But I would suggest if they really care about truth, and this is the truth, then they need to make a public statement and clarify what's true. No we don't know statement. at this point. There's not a statement on their website nope. you can find about what their new abortion policy is. They leaked it to the AP, basically saying they had joined the other woke companies. And just so you know, a lot of these publicly traded companies are for facilitating abortion on demand through nine months. Walmart is now being listed in those and with mm -hmm. those companies that are doing that, and they're not correcting the record, yet they're trying to imply that they are not with those companies. So, you know, we looked at that website that, uh, Penny, mm -hmm. you said you couldn't believe what they had done on ESG mm -hmm. on the Walmart website. I mean, it's obnoxious to read it. You, re you really wouldn't want to go back to Walmart after you read this obnoxious uh, website about how fossil fuel is evil and how we have to endorse all of these terrible uh, aspects to the woke agenda like Black Lives Matter and everything else. And uh, so why can't they just simply respond to our letter by saying they're either going to pay for abortion through nine months with travel, why they have to pay for travel? That's the most obnoxious part of it. I don't know. Or they have a separate policy. Why can't they make that clear? Because they want the left to believe what we've said in the letter. And that is that they've gone completely woke and that they're paying for abortions on demand. Maybe that's not true, but we can't believe the insinuation that it's not true. We need them to clarify the record, as you said, Matt. Like what abortions, another way to say it is, hey, Walmart, what abortions aren't you paying for? If you're an employee uh, mm -hmm. and you ask to have this paid for, which ones would you knock out? According to what the, um, the, the, the news articles, there'd be no abortion that wouldn't be allowable uh, under their new plan. I do want to add that it, not only is it the policy on abortion on demand, but then you see so many of these organizations, so many of these institutions basically also promoting, uh, you know, the critical race theory training or, right. you know, trying to, you know, basically create this division. Gender theory. Call, uh, certain individuals white supremacists. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, so it's not it's it's on the the abortion on demand is definitely one of the big issues. But then mm -hmm. there's these other issues on uh, in these work woke corporations, mm -hmm. including pronoun use and God forbid you misgender. I mean, Penny, when mm -hmm. when do the American people wake up? You when do these employees that even work for these companies say this, this has gone too far? Well, and there was a there was an effort to force Walmart employees to put their pronouns on their badges. I know that for a fact, and I fought it behind the scenes. And they backed down momentarily, but now I who knows? You know, you're talking about these other companies. Target went the extra step, and most people aren't even going to know what this is. But they were selling what what's called bus binders yes. for little girls to flatten them out to make them look like boys. I mean, this is all part of the gender theory. And um, and what we're seeing on just, you know, the whole transgender issue, these companies need to stay out of the culture wars. What I said to Walmart was stay out of it. All we want you to do is less goods and side jobs for your employees to be good corporate citizens, pay your taxes. You don't need to enter into this, but they voluntarily wade into it and open the door. And that's why we're having this discussion. It is an important discussion to have. And I think the opportunity for conservatives is to go just very politely and kindly and in a grace filled way to the manager and say, I am so disappointed. I expected more from you. And if they keep hearing that over and over again, email the CEO, Doug McMillan right. of, of Walmart. And we have his um, information on our website and you probably do too, Mercedes. Yeah, we'll put it up on the screen as well so everyone can, can take down that email. And we're also asking you all to sign our petition. We have it on conservative.org, mm -hmm. also pushing back and really letting your opinions be known to the Walmart uh, organization and leadership. And I know one of the things we did was also 
copied CC all the board of mm -hmm. directors, okay. we did. basically letting them know that, you know, we're going to stand united. We're going to stand strong. Uh, it's something I think that the left has done very effectively in pushing their agenda. So I think for conservatives to be able to unite and have a united front, I think it's, it's the most critical time to do so. I heard from several members of Congress, Penny, mm -hmm. after the letter was made public. But I'll be honest with you, I'm very disappointed. I haven't heard from the governor of Arkansas. I haven't seen public statements from either senator. I haven't heard from the members of Congress from their delegation. They have very important uh, voices mm -hmm. at this point. Right. And they need to stand with the pro-life community if they're going to call themselves pro-life. Uh, do you agree with uh, that? One hundred percent. If you are pro-life and supportive ethic of life, we've worked very hard 50 years as a community, as a movement to overturn Roe. And now there is a, an attack by the left, the attack, an attack, frankly, I think, um, by Satan against the very ethic of life that we are working so hard to promote within our nation. And we shouldn't be surprised by this, of course, but it comes up in various and sundry different ways. We war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and darkness. That's in Ephesians. It's true. And so abortion is about evil and good. And it's about protecting the least of these and loving the mother and encouraging an ethic of life in our nation. If we're going to take this on, we can't force participation in somebody else's abortion, not through our tax dollars and not through our corporate dollars. And so right. that's the, right. that's no, the message. And Penny, you're also correct on that part. And as well as the fact that we need to support our life affirming pregnancy centers, 100%. these life affirming centers, they, they provide health care for women. And yet the left continues. You've seen the mm -hmm. bullying tactics coming from the left where there's been violence against and, and destruction of, of some of these uh, pregnancy centers. And that is obviously something that you don't even see the Democrats saying, you know, stop this behavior. That's right. They, in fact, they want to talk about abortion clinics. You know, Concerned Women for America um, was our offices were banned. Our office was vandalized by somebody who, you know, ripped off something on our building exposed himself to the cameras. This is after the leak of the Alito opinion, urinated right. on our door, you know, made obscene gestures to, and he had, he had, you know, a, along the way done various and sundry things, but we saw, you know, this, this, you know, emergence of great ire. And it is just, I think, an unmasking of the left. They're not pro-choice, they're pro-abortion. Yep. When you attack centers, that all they want to do is help women. All they want to do is provide services and health care and job training and food. And, you know, how do you how do you live with yourself? You can't pretend to be pro-choice anymore. You're clearly pro-abortion. Let, let me let me jump in on this for a second. Don't worry about the vandalism at Concerned Women for America, Penny, because mm -hmm. Christopher Ray and Merrick Garland believe that that's white nationalism. Right. And they'll be oh, they'll okay. be all over it. Okay, so don't, don't you Good worry to know. about it. The uh, <laughs> but the secondary thing is this idea of travel, and I'd say this to all my friends uh, from across the country who might work at Walmart or these other companies who are paying for travel with abortion. Just understand, the problem with all of this is now we're anybody who shops at a Walmart is now complicit in mm -hmm. abortion. Mm -hmm. We're all in on the decision that even if it was one unborn life that was lost because the abortion was facilitated. Uh, that mm -hmm. should be enough to get us uh, really to back down and to realize how evil this is, just one. But instead, this is gonna result in hundreds or thousands of more abortions. So the travel piece of this, now we're all mm -hmm. in. This is no longer a decision of an individual employee. This is a company that explained to Penny Nance, the head of Concerned Women for America, that it was unfair if an unborn child couldn't be killed. Think about that. Mm -hmm. That's insane. The logic behind that, the reason why a company like Walmart is in Arkansas or companies are based in my home state of Kansas or your home state of Florida, the reason mm -hmm. they're there is because they love the values and they can hire these great people. And they love and the, the people don't policies. lie and cheat and steal. And they're in those red states for a reason. But then to like slur everybody in these red states somehow because 
they have an old fashioned notion of protecting life. Right. They ought to move their headquarters out of that red state and go to a big blue state and enjoy the crime and the feces on the ground and the gender confusion in their kids' schools. Well, and you know, you're a hundred percent right. And I, I just think that Sam Walton would be so devastated if he knew what was happening. Right. I mean, he was a man of faith. He was a family man. He wouldn't believe it if he could see it. And so, again, I think this is an opportunity for the pro-life community to step up and say this far and no more. Like we are really tired of these companies taking us for granted and, you know, disrespecting our life views and worse using our money at the very least to pay for travel for abortion. You know, and I also wonder about the women who perhaps, you know, made a hard choice, a difficult choice on low pay to to pay, to keep their baby, to parent their child. Um, and of course, we support adoption, but many women choose to parent after an unplanned pregnancy. What about their gas back and forth to work? So if they're giving, and most companies are saying up to $4,000 for abortion travel, why don't you just still get, why don't you just give all the women in your company $4,000? Because I bet they could use it for childcare, for gas in their car, for, you know, whatever it is that they need, a house payment, whatever it is. Like, why are you discriminating against a group of women who made hard choices, who work very hard? for very little pay and instead give money to to abortion and an ideology that those very women have rejected. The, Great uh, point. The other thing is, is in the letter, we make this point really clear, which is don't come knocking our, on our door for the economic policies you're trying to get passed through uh, the next Republican administration or this Congress. The other thing I think Penny and I would like to start toying with is I think maybe there needs to be an increase in the death tax for certain woke individuals who are pushing these companies uh, to the brink. Maybe Sam Walton wouldn't just be disappointed in his company, be disappointed in some of the next generation or the third generation that really doesn't seem to have his values. And that that will have to hold for another America (laughs) Uncancelled because we've run out of time. But Penny Nance, CEO and President of Concerned Women for America, thank you for your leadership. Thank Thank you you for really getting uh, this letter going and, and ensuring that we can have so many conservative voices a really push back against not mm. only Walmart, but these other woke corporations that are simply not representing their customers. That's right. Thank you so much, Penny. My great honor. Thank you. Great working with both of you. And thank you all for watching America Uncanceled. We'll have plenty more tomorrow. God bless.